Hey guys, it's just me with another Lens Prime quality streaming product. Well, this was uh, our last uh, key farm character. It's been nice knowing him. See, I was thinking maybe an elementalist. Who are my elementalists? Lens is one of them. Felgarn is one of them. Onus. Onus Octavorp. I'm going to make a female human elementalist. It was my first class. My first love in the game. No random this time. Gotta pick a face you like. I think that one will do. Good evening to those of you who joined me. Hope your Monday doesn't suck too much. Because I'm considering making this character a keeper, not a one-use Throw away. Ooh, two tone hair. Kind of like. I'm going to work with the two tone hair here, see what I can come up with. to be the only one. Kind of good, kind of nifty. I think I'll go with that. I color blue because blue. Give her a more generous mouth. More kissable, you know. Orchid. Orchid. Tarnish 
screen off. Screen. I need to work with it. We'll start her off with the um, Earth attunement device on her forehead. Velocity. have her raised in the streets. Haven't done the streets for a while. Biggest regrets is uh, I passed up an opportunity to perform in the circus. Elementalist to well, Balthazar is fire. Melandra would be earth. Melandra would make sense. Let's start with the earth atonement. Let's see. And a new character is created. As I said, this one may be a keeper. I haven't decided yet. The human race once ruled Tyria. And I may actually just now level her we all the way up on ground. stream. Only play her on stream. Level her up on stream. We've been defeated, driven back, and broken. But we will not surrender. So many nations have fallen. Only Krita still stands. Our faith is strong, despite the silence of the six gods. With Spoiler, courage, the gods are gone. We'll make our stand in divinity's reach. The city is my home. I grew up on the streets. Although I have friends, my life has always been hard. I faced the worst this city could throw Quiet at me, down there. and I sent it home bleeding. I'm done living hand to mouth. There's a war on our doorstep, and I refuse to be buried by it. Today, I stepped outside Divinity's Reach, hoping to find better luck outside the city. Problem is, when I arrived in Shamor, the village was under attack by centaurs. Innocent villagers are in danger. Someone has to help. And I'm just the one to do it. I can take care of myself, but that's not enough anymore. Someone has to help those who can't. Yeah. Yeah. This is my story. Yeah. So, yeah. Defense of Shamor. We get some laurels and hearty handshake. That's an old joke. We're under attack. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I don't need to talk to him. Because I'm heading straight for the action. Skipping the rest of this. There's another player, presumably likely doing a key farm, same as me. And by, by all six gods, what is that thing? It's huge. It's huge. That soldier is a threat. That soldier is a threat. We're going to take so that person who was running alongside Forward. me. We'll get to the gates, and the gates will be closed. By doing this shortcut here, I don't have to wait for the next iteration of the event. It's a shortcut. It's cheesy, but what the hell? Cheese is delicious. Rally to me if you need to recover. 
got at least three players out here. As is pretty common, Monday, generally speaking, is is key farming day. And by just running straight here, instead of going over to the gate, following the green arrows to the Not gate and yet. waiting, I'd save myself probably it's five minutes. Explode. been in a coma for three days. They say unconscious. No, no, that, that's a coma. All right, got a few things we can do first. Uh, first of all, we will re-dye our appearance here. Sure, that's okay. I can work with that. We need to choose our glider skin. Stained glass, maybe. I'll go with the stained glass, I think. We need to choose our mount skins. And we'll just uh, use the, the default colorations on these. Fault, because we're still trying to get better at using our uh, roller beetle. We're going to use the roller beetle as the default. And now, we've been working on our first heart. I'm going to assume, wrongly, most likely, that you've all seen me do a key farm before, but I'll keep commenting as if that weren't the case. Had a number of people watching lately who are watching me play uh, RuneScape. And some of them may join the crowd here. And so I want to explain what I'm doing. You don't have standard quests for the most part in Guild Wars 2. You have what are called reputation hearts. Basically little activity locations where there are a number of different things you can do. For instance, I danced for the brown cow. What you're looking for is making progress here. And in this case, um, checking on the crops, entertaining the cattle. It's not exactly clear why we're entertaining the cattle or why they like to see us dance, but they do. And um, stomping on the worm mounds, which bring up worms that we can then kill. So we progress. And when you finish out a heart, you get a big burst of XP. But... The way, the way you level is non-standard compared to most MMOs, and that basically you run around the map and do stuff that looks interesting and fun. Now, it is pretty easy to inadvertently find yourself in an area that's a little bit too tough. Returned to the default, please. There we go. That's a little nicer. But in essence, every heart has a, a level range attached to it. And at low levels, it pays to sort of follow it. You know, for the level 1, level 2, level 3 ones. But once you're reasonably high level, then... Or higher level in the map, uh, the content scales. Um, sc you scale down to the content. 
So a level 80 player coming into this area who'd never done it before would be scaled down to like level three or four. Now they'd still have all their skills and their stats would be way higher even um, after being scaled down. But it means that you can't one-shot everything. You actually have to fight even really low level stuff. It's going to be easy for the most part. But if you're not paying attention, you pull too many things at the wrong time, you can get yourself murdered by low level mobs. Especially if you're fighting tougher mobs. And that's another heart complete. Now the reason I'm doing all of this, I'm doing what's called a key farm in Guild Wars 2. It's a not uncommon Looks thing for now, um, have been more established players to do. Once a week, you can create a new character, level them up to 10. At 10 they get access to the individual storyline. <coughs> you finish the first chapel of the chapter of the individual story, and it gets you a key to open the in-game lock, which normally cost would cost I think a buck and a half if you were to convert real money into a key. And so a lot of players will once a week create a new character, run them through the basics of the game, get a key, and hope to get lucky. Over the past few years, I have probably done 100 or 150 keys. Key farms, from key farms alone. I also now started about a year ago, maybe, uh, started buying keys every time there's a new lockbox because, well, uh, I like pretty things. And also, uh, it's good content. So I, ha I, I can use the... Uh, uh, obvious lie that I do it for you guys because I get cool looking things out of it. I need, I need to get an apple before we run out of time. Good, we got apples, scrappy apples. When there's an event, which spawn either on a schedule Hello? or irregularly. I'll take what you have, but we're almost out of time. You always want to make sure you make some contribution. So that you get at least partial credit for the event. And that's what I did by getting apples in <coughs> to the guy collecting apples. He's got the um, icon over his head that, to me, uh, looks like an arrow pointing down at a Reese's peanut butter cup. Hit the trees and make them shake. How else are you going to get the apples down? Oh, and watch out for spiders. I didn't have to go in. Yeah, I only got a bronze. Sigh. Also, they give you good progress, generally speaking, on if there's a, a heart associated with where the end is. In this case, there is. There's another event that can spawn here for killing spiders. When that one finishes, um, it spawns another event. A lot of events are chains. In this case, you finish the event for killing spiders, and the spider queen spawns here. So as I said before, the key, ha ha, to a fast key farm, fast efficient key farm is getting lucky and having a whole lot of um, events spawn as you get to areas. Congratulations another to heart me. complete and another level. We're already level six. Leveling is pretty easy in the game and certainly has gotten a lot easier with the addition of the adventure guide. Basically, a bunch of hints for new players. Ooh, gloves. 
hints for new players that give them XP, and then finishing up batches of them give you boatloads of XP. But we will swap for now into the staff. We have two. This is an elementalist, this character. When we finish leveling up, a couple more levels, we'll have access to four elements. You only have access to one weapon at a time, but you can swap between attunements, fire, water, earth, and air. The standard four. And so here I get credit for dodging through two traps, and I'll dodge again. And I just had to get to three, and that was worth like a quarter of a level right there. That's the new stuff they added with the adventure guide. So if you're a new player and you're trying to figure out what you should be doing, try finishing out the adventure guide stuff as it gives really large amounts of XP. New boots as well. Well, we've uh, changed some of our clothing, so I think it's important we change our look. Mm -mm. Yeah, that'll work. Now you can run around outside and do some stuff, but in my experience, it's faster to level in here where you're doing two things at once. You'll be killing mobs. Someone get over here and help me. And you'll also be picking up the stolen feed that you'll be able to turn in to the NPC back there for more progress. And the fact that you're basically multitasking. Again, makes for a little bit quicker leveling process. Also note that <clears throat> when you have something like this, the stolen feed you pick up which spawns a mob, if you just wait a second, it'll respawn and another player can activate it and bring in another NPC for everyone to murder. So I think I probably have enough of the stolen stuff to return to the NPC, turn it in, finish off another heart. Greetings. Oh, one short! I needed one more thing dead. Fortunately, oh, we've got an event for dealing with there's the heart complete. But I want to make sure I get enough XP to finish get a gold on the event as well. Thanks for bringing her this far. We'll take it from here. That guy dodged back into the fire. That seems to have been a poor, a poor career limiting maneuver. I tell you, you set these guys on fire and they die screaming. What a bunch of wusses. Actually, I'm pretty sure I would die. I, I would die screaming if I was set on fire. These ones are invulnerable because they haven't reached the activation spot yet. And there we go. Event successful. I got a gold medal. I got like twice as much XP for that. Another level. I'm up to level seven. Another event going on here. We have to protect Shameworth drinking water from bandits. However, this is a timed event, and it's got four more minutes to go. The timed events are not. Um, they're not useful uses of your time if you're looking to level quickly for, say, a key farm. But I will take the time out to nuke the poison. Ah! Misclicked. For the 
Hey there. How you doing, Molly? Just a nice... I believe the uh, phrase that they all use, all the streamers use, is cozy stream. Uh, yeah. My, um, all of my black t-shirts need to be washed. That'll probably happen tonight. So don't get used to it, young man. Because I own like uh, 15 or 20 black shirts, so black tees. Makes it easy to figure out what I'm going to wear to stream. After all, you know, I'm such a fashion fashionista. Said nobody ever. Also, it's a little bit chilly here today. Mind you, a week ago, or less, probably like six days, five or six days ago, it was 90 degrees out. Today, we can't hit 60. Oh, gotta kill rats. Well, it's going back into streaming would certainly be good. Moving, always a pain in the ass. More people should learn to barter. More people should learn to barter. I tell you what, you can teach me to barter, but it'll cost you a dollar. Hey, there's nothing Another wrong with old people. Victory. I got a silver for saving the drinking water. I did almost nothing. At least it'll be quiet. Well, historically, my neighbors have always been techies. Not a lot of families historically, although there's usually a couple around with a couple of kids. It has largely been single techies. And there we go, another heart complete. Event ongoing. Let me grab uh, this 
Insta up here. Take care of some scrit. Oh, did somebody clean out all the scrit? They I did. like new places. Well, there's no one here, so I will knock over their um, their cultural artifacts because I am a cultural imperialist running dog. That was good enough for a silver. Oh, scrit. It? I mean it. You're a script. Many script. Help. I, I don't think the, the I don't think your friend scripts were very interested in helping you out, dude. We've got response. Run along in the fire. That's, that's great intelligence for you. Pretty sure yes. Kick over more of their shiny things, because I'm just that kind of a person. Humans? in this world are actually an invasive species. We don't really know much about it other than our gods opened the gateway for us to move between worlds, whatever our old world was. Presumably they ran us off because we're assholes. So we know almost nothing about the uh, original home world of humans, but this ain't it. There, it's the heart. And now we'll head to Beetleton. Very fast. Completion of the ten levels. Well, gaining nine levels. To get us access to the storyline. And we'll see. I'm considering keeping his character and making them permanent. Not simply deleting them. Uh, they, uh, today, just today, they, um, brought out their, um, their, um, Plans for the near future and the slightly more distant future. Yeah. What is it, the road map? Amongst one, uh, amongst the, maybe the most noticeable thing, the most notable thing, hard to believe in it, because it's very long. Is they're finally going to give us a way to turn off most of the visual effects, excepting fields, from other allied players. To get rid of some of the visual cancer. I really thought um, End of Dragon. Well, first of all, I think I felt End of Dragons was 
showed having been a, a very, very hurried effort. But for that, well done. Well done, but to my mind anyway, definitely hurried. They finally got their mind made up about what they were going to do with their future. May Duena bless you. But felt they had to do it in some sort of reasonable amount of time, and I would agree with that. That's why, for instance, I think a couple of the masteries are really underwhelming. There's like one and a half good masteries. Huh. Wake up, I need your help. Oh, my friend Quinn. Yes, uh, my friend Quinn is an idiot. It is, however, a good education in that it's your friends being idiots who cause so many of your problems as you level up the story stuff in game. Let's see. I got those. Some script shinies. We'll head back to town. We'll see what they have in mind for the future. It sounds like with their new design paradigm that you probably won't be getting any more elite specializations. But the, a lot of the hypotheses that people have been offering would be acceptable to me, although I love the elite specs. I mean, Wooden Potatoes months ago had, a, had, a, had an alternative that seemed pretty good, basically turning each of the core specs, jazzing up the core specs, you know, the five trait lines you initially have available to you. Um, somebody else had suggested, I guess, um, adding a new weapon to a class and attaching it to one of the previous existing core five specializations basically giving them sort of a mini elite spec associated one of the existing trait line so for instance staff maybe would in the, in the case of, of elementalist staff would be basically an elite weapon for My job is better than yours. Uh, a fire line for um, elementalist and so if you're wielding the staff, maybe you want to stick more to the fire line. That kind of thing. I would like to continue my story. The Perils of Friendships. Of all the stupid friends that we have uh, in Guild Wars 2, it's possible that Quinn is the stupidest. And that's even without him being Quinn 69. That's a POE reference. Well, a POE in Diablo reference. He's a streamer, Quinn 69. Not my taste. But popular. Very popular. Hey, there you are. It's great to see you back on your feet. Come on, let's go for a drink. I'm buying. You're buying? Oh, this must be a special occasion. Oh, and... Thanks for coming to see me when I was injured. Hey, that's what friends are for. Besides, did you see the priestess of Duena? Cute. Quinn, there you are. I'm gonna gut you right here and now. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you so mad? I didn't do anything. That's the point. You were supposed to back up Riot Alice, but you didn't do anything. And the Widowmakers took her. Hello, Pete. It's been a while. What's the problem here? So, you're back. Yes, I'm Just back. in time to protect your idiot friend again. He is an idiot. Problem is, Quinn got one of ours caught by a rival gang. I want Alice back. Or I want Quinn's heart on a stick. We'll get Alice back. You said the Widowmakers have her, right? We'll take care of them. And after that, Quinn's account is settled. He owes you nothing. Fine. You bring Alice to me and we're square. If you don't, you both bleed to death in the gutter. You know where to find me. Lead on. Idiot. 
The Widowmaker's so hideout. So Quinn sixty nine, the streamer, that. is uh, mostly famous or most famous for being Listen, the guy who I'm spent fifty thousand dollars hey, on Diablo Immortal to get his character a particular level up thing, and then having done so, deleted the character. What do you want? Just let me in. Wait, I've got it. The Stein requires a beer. Not even close. Shove off. All right. I'm right. You think clowns hanging out under the Next bridge. Payday, I'll Let's be get back. the password from them. Oh, we're going to get the password from them, all right. The Queen Jedi. They'll scream it with their dying breath. It's some sort of. Pete thugs. Get up! You're kidding, right? <laughs> all right. We want the password to your hideout, and we want it now. If I tell you, you'll let me go? Yeah, we'll let you go. As long as you don't warn them. I won't. They didn't protect me. I don't owe them anything. The password is Salma's Bloomers. Forget it. They're too tough for us. You know, this is the Salma district. Salma's a famous queen. Ran into an Asura. Salma's bloomers. All right, come on in. Trouble. Pete's goons are here. Goon? Really? A goon? I'm not a goon, and I don't work for Pete. I know Pete. I have associated with Pete in the past. He's a dick. Yes, I'm kidding. I'm always kidding. That's all I ever do is kid. Kid, kid, kid. Just a little, you know, friendly um, murdering people by immolating them. <laughs> it's all in good fun. Hello. Hello. Gosh, she's cheery. Thanks for the rescue. I was really starting to hate these guys. As for you, Quinn, this almost makes up for you getting me caught in the first place. Almost. Oh, really? Hey, I always clean up my own messes. You were never in any danger. Right, Quinn. Whatever you say. Come on, we need to get Alice back to Two Blade Pete. I'm right behind you. Anywhere is better than here. No. There are a lot of places worse than that. Back to Two Blade Pete. There's the rest of the gang that I set on fire running away. Cowards. Evidently not actually dead. They sure seemed pretty dead, though. Make it quick. Make it quick. Lucky for you, Quinn, you Lucky made it. Quinn. Good thing Alice isn't hurt. No thanks to you, Pete. Were you going to leave me with those goons? I thought you needed me for the apothecary job. Shut up about that. Shut up! Shh! Now, oh my god! As did you, Quinn. You're off the hook for Alice. But as part of the gang, I've still got work for you. That wasn't the deal, Pete. We dealt with the Widowmakers, Alice is back, and Quinn's out. Hey, don't stir things up. Pete can make things really difficult around here for me. As long as I'm on the streets, I need to cooperate with him. Don't be an idiot. Too Pete's late. not your friend. He thinks everyone's expendable, especially you. Well, you're just going to get into trouble again. Quinn is expendable, sure, sure, I and I will that. expend on, him later. Me. I just have to stay one step ahead of him. All right, it's your life. Be careful, Quinn. I'm not always going to be around to lend a hand. And now Captain the Sarah Thackeray show up. Speak to you right away. Yeah, where were you a minute ago? Thackeray. Thanks for coming. 
Not too busy to have a word with me, are you? I need some information about a thug named Two Blade Pete. What Pete, a coincidence. Huh? Are you following yeah, me? I know him. He's always been trouble. These days, the less I have to do with him, the better I like it. Glad to hear that. His gang's mischief's getting downright deadly. Know anything about what they might be planning next? I just helped my friend Quinn settle a score with him, and I heard a member of his gang mention an apothecary. That mean anything to you? Apothecary? Hmm. Pete's goons have been sniffing around in Shaymore. There's an apothecary there. And I'm the hero of Shaymore. Target. My friend Quinn is mixed up in this. Can you give me a chance to talk him out of it? Well, it's asking a lot, but for the hero of Shaymore, I'll try. Get Quinn out fast. My soldiers will move in as soon as they see trouble. Hey, how about Be before trouble? In situations like these, the wrong choice can kill a friendship. Or a friend. New gloves. Ready for more. New level. New skills. My mug has gone in. Bartender. Conjuring, training. I've never been big on the conjurings. The signets are good. Glyphs. Yeah, glyphs are good too. Let's go with the glyphs. Glyph of Storms. Let's see, that is 25 second cooldown, heal 126. 20 second cooldown, bigger heal. Thank you, yes, we'll use that one. There we go. And out we go. Bag. Papa's got a brand new bag. Got a brand new Malign Country coat. Coat, too. And new boots. We got new everything. It's a whole new world. But it, it looks pretty plain. So, what do we do? We click the dies. Peach, pink, and a sort of a charcoal so we've got ebony melon and humiliation oh yeah humiliation wasn't expecting that specifically as a color name don't think i'd ever noticed that before let me sell all my junk Destroyed. Throw that away. And I think we're off to Shaymore. Drove into a tree. Don't do that. Too late. I did that. Let's get this stuff back to Pete. The others will take care of the rest. Help! Be careful with that stuff. It's dangerous. They're going to kill me! Seriously, guys. We can still work this out. <laughs> Please don't kill me. I've given you everything you asked for. What are you doing? We don't need to hurt her. We do what Pete says, and Pete says she does. Boy, are you a sheep. Yeah? Well, well, I say no way. Wow. Say whatever What a want. spine. Solid I cartilage. Alive. Coming. 
Got them all? Nope, one, one more. Dead. I mean, half. Clearly, I'm not killing them because they came back. I had things under control, but I'm glad you showed up. God, you're an idiot. As am I. We owe you our lives. Thank you. But they took my entire supply of rhizome powder. It's a strong poison. It's ginger. Poison? Quinn, what's going on? The Seraph will be here any second. If we tell them what Pete's planning, they can stop it. You're working with the Seraph? When did you become a rat? Don't you know you can't trust the law? I trust Thackeray more than Two Blade. Come on. You wouldn't help stab one person. Why would you help poison dozens? Now be smart for once. For once. Lay low until Thackeray makes his move and Pete's either dead or in prison. But I... But I... I... But I'm an uh, idiot. You're right. I have to do stupid things. Listen, thanks for saving me. I'll do what you say and hold up until all this blows over. And hey, thanks again. Sure. God, you're an idiot. The sheriff are right out. I'm out of here. You keep saving people, and you'll be the one they're swooning over in the streets. And believe me, it's not as. I don't as believe you, Logan. Nobody is swooning over you in the streets. Nobody is swooning over you in the streets. Greetings. Logan Thackeray. You heard the commotion. He's it looks like, like you vanilla ice it. cream. Please allow me to introduce Countess Anise, advisor to the royal court and master exemplar of the Shining Blade. What happened here? The apothecary's safe, but Pete's gang got away with a lot of poisonous rhizome powder. Ginger. I feel responsible. I couldn't stop them in time. Let me help you deal with it. Certainly. You can find out when and where they plan to use the poison. We can shut Two Blade Pete down for good. Pete's gang knows I was here. When none of his people return from this job, Two Blade will be out from my blood. Don't worry. My magic can disguise you as a common bandit. You can walk among them, and they'll never know it's you. We'll give you the location of their hideout. It's well, again, if you know the location of their hideout. I know you can handle Why don't you just Consider storm the place? I want to put Two Blade Pete out of business even more than you do. Very well, then. I'll cast it on you now. But the disguise won't activate until you're close well, to the That's a little bit of a deus ex machina. When you're ready, head to this location on your map. My scouts tell me Pete's men are hiding there. You'll be on your own, so be careful. Happy hunting. Stand still for a moment, and I'll place the enchantment on you. Done. When you reach the bandit cabin, you will be transformed. Undercover work is tricky. To pull this off, you'll have to eat, eat breathe, breathe, think, and stink, and stink like a bandit. Like a bandit. Yes, I know. Well, you know, my first love in the game, the reason my first character was an elementalist, was dagger dagger mostly in fire now I shall break you we got that we got that put that down there put that into the crafting bank my coffee cup is empty. As empty as my soul. I'll be right back.
coffee cup is no longer as empty as my soul, it is filled with coffee that is as black and bitter as my soul. Got a lot of soul associations going on. Uh, Seraf Archer north of Shamor Garrison. Hi. Thanks for your help. I'm going undercover. There I am undercover. Beggar's Burrow. Look what the script dragged in. Who are you? I'm new. Just got sprung and I'm eager to prove myself. Pete said to check around and make myself useful. Good. There's plenty to be done. Just make sure you stay out of the way. And if nobody else has anything for you, check back with me. I'll put you to work. Crusher what? Dan. Think you're tough enough for the gang? You think you can buddy up to old Crusher Dan by strolling in as easy as you please? I'm tougher than any three of you have put together. Oh, really? Then you walk that talk? The river's full of drakes. If you're so tough, clear them out. And you're going to do what? Watch? You got a problem with that? You're the one with something to prove. Now get going. Fine, fine, fine. Because I don't want to do any underwater fighting because it's slow and... It's the best underwater fighting of any game, any MMO, but it's still kludgy. So I'll use the staff to pull all these river drakes. We can only swap weapons on uh, engineers and uh, elementalists. We can only swap weapons out of combat. Every other class can swap in combat. It's almost time. I'm so excited. I've never done anything this important before. Crusher Dan, the stock car man. So you thought those drakes were a thing or two. So what? They're a bunch of pushovers. I'm still not impressed. Give me another challenge then. You got something stronger around here? Maybe. There's a, a scale we call old scab fin. In the lake outside the cave. You kill that mean old cuss and you might earn my respect. Think you can manage it? I can do it. How do I find this big scale? Scale can't resist fresh meat. Put some bait on the rocks outside of the cave and he'll find you. Make sure you say your prayers first. Scab fin, huh? That's just a really unpleasant name. Meat on a stick. Poor Scab Finn. He has a terrible name, and then he gets burnt to death. It's a, a, a bad life and an even worse yeah. death. So old Scab Finn won't be bothering anyone else? Ha! You're good. I'm impressed. Glad to hear it. Now, how about telling me what's next? 
All you need to know is that those merchants and divinities are each are in for a big surprise. Sound like it's a big job. And right under the nose is the Seraph. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like it. Doc Howler. How we are well with London. Huh? Careful, I'm doing delicate work here. If I squeeze the wrong seed pod, we'll all be breathing aggressive pollen, disaster, side effects, possible uncontrolled explosions. What is this stuff? What are you making? What? You probably can't tell a swamp lily from a fire poppy. Ha! <laughs> a swamp lily from an Etten's backside. I was about to offer my assistance, but now... Fine. It's botany you seek. Head up the ramp all the way to the graveyard. Bring me a wicked tangle, and I'll share my precious knowledge. I can do that. I'll be back. A wicked tangle. Oh, what a wicked... Oh, what a wicked tangle we weave when first we practice to deceive. Frost grub. Forest scrub, sorry. Possibly also a frost grub, but probably there's an identif unidentified plant there, but I happen to know that the unidentified plant we're looking for is this one. Take the plant to Doc Howler. I happen to know that that was the one because I've done this uh, dozens of times. Not as many times as I've done the, um, the commoner background choice, which is the fastest key farm available if you're actually going to do the quests and stuff oh, bring me the wicked tangle this spiny stuff superb good thing you found it need it for an antidote two blade wanted extra strong poison so the antidote has to be equivalent don't worry the gang will be fine with the antidote only the fine upstanding divinities reach citizens will suffer better get out of your way riot alice Hi, Alice. Allowing our nation to be run by an oligarchy invites tyranny and corruption. The Queen's divine right, my eye. Yeah, the Queen's always mucking things up. In your enlightened opinion, would Cryda be better served by a ruling body like the Ministry or by disbanding all forms of authority? Disband all the ruling bodies. I'm my own authority. Well said. I'll be proud to stand next to you. At the well in Grint Spoke for Two Blades' plan. Grint Spoke, you say? Good to know. Thanks. Wait a second. You look really familiar. I... Yeah. I used to run with Pete a long time ago. I just got back. It's not like it used to be. Yeah. Pete's not the man I thought he was. He doesn't care about the struggle at all. Just gold. Why don't you get out? It's possible, if you want it bad enough. I've been thinking about it, believe me. Best not to talk here, though. Hey, stay out of trouble. Maybe I'll see you again. And exit. And then back to Logan's office. Right. In Divinity's Reach. If it's going to let me. No. I really am not a fan of having these quest locations be in a place where you come out of the, um, the quest and are immediately aggroed by a mob. It's just clumsy, unnecessary design choice. There are a few of them like that in the individual story. Not a bunch, but it kind of makes the ones that do have that happen be kind of a poke in the eye. Hi, Logan. I found out what Two Blade Pete is planning. He and his gang are going to poison the city well. While everyone's sick, they'll break into the shops and steal whatever they want. Devious. That's not devious. It's, going to hurt a lot of innocent it's brute people. force and Women, stupid, and inefficient, and ineffective. Pete has to be stopped. And it gets worse. My sources tell me Pete knows where Quinn is hiding. 
The gang thinks Quinn snitched about the apothecary job. Two Blade Pete's a loose cannon. Your friend is in real danger. You need to get Quinn out of there before he gets hurt. I disagree. You can't put one person's life over the well-being well, of the city. I could put one, one person person's one life minute. ahead. Think about it. Unless that person was a complete make tough idiot. Choices like this In which case, sorry, Quinn. Works out better than mine. Quinn's my friend, but I can't let innocents die. I have to think of the good of the many. I'm sure. Doody doo be doo doo. And as is my uh, recently established tradition, a uh, new piece of gear. That means that that calls for new colors. Uh, can't use. Can't use. Can use. Oh, actually, use this one first. Use up the freebie. Again, the, the the tepid coloring. I mean, you just no self-respecting adventurer is going to wear that color combo. It's just mm, okay. I can work with that. What do we got? Uh, the two green yellows are pretty close. We've got chartreuse and olive you, and then midnight olive. Okay, midnight olive olive you. That's certainly a nice combo. I think. So we'll go with that. We can work with that. Meet Logan at Skull Plaza. Sounds like a really nice place. I ended up the wrong way. I ran into a wall. I used up all of my momentum. I'm a bad driver. that time I'm still that about the worst bad. stay close roller beetle driver in the world sad to say How about some fire for them? Lots of fire. Alright, you guys take care of the one over there? Good. Oh, here, let me help this guy up. He's, uh, he's hurt. I revived an ally. Why does Logan keep saying, I'll see you again? To people I've killed. You're dead! Now I'll never. Now I'll never. Alright, and some more bandits coming. Don't run off, Logan.
Come on, bring it on, bring it on. You'll pay for your disrespect. Pay for your disrespect? What the hell are you talking about now, Logan, you blithering idiot? I think we got them all. Nope, nope, one more batch. Sorry, my bad. You got me. Yes, yes, I did. I got you. Under my skin. No more. You win. Congratulations. You spoiled my greatest experiment. Too bad your friend Quinn won't be around to help you celebrate. What do you mean? Where is Quinn? He's dead, hero. We heard about the apothecary. You don't ruin the apex of my scientific career without consequences. Poisoning people. Two Blade Pete carved him up like a winter's day roast. Poisoning people's really easy. You think this is funny? I'll kill you and your whole gang. Calm down. Up yours. Make sure this piece of trash gets what's coming to her. Seraph, take the prisoner out before I chop her up and feed her to the harpies. Pete oh, big Quinn. talk, Logan. Yawn. Pete's gotta pay. I helped you, Captain, and now I'm calling in that favor. I want Two Blade Pete in the ground. Agreed. Listen, Pete will be after you next. He can't afford to let you live. Meet me at the tavern, and when Pete comes for you, we'll be waiting for him. All right, but if Pete doesn't come to us, I'm tearing this whole city apart until I find him. It's a, it's an overstatement. I can't Where actually. You are right now. Tear the Don't whole lose control. City apart. Save what you're feeling. I'm cool, but I'm, I'm still on level twelve. Another level. For me, let's see. It. Swap. Swap. Shoulders. I can wear them, but you know what that means. It's another new item of fashion. And we have our rules. And like society, I have to live by my rules. The new color. I kind of liked this one, actually. But the new color combo? Okay. I can work with that. We've got... Refresh? Really? And Chestnut. And Far Mountain. I'm not nuts about the farm mountain, but okay, I can work with it. It's it's decent. It's not great. More training. Let's see. We've got five more points. Toss in the signet of air. First points in arcane. exit and we kill Pete and get our key we open our box and then we'll head out and we'll work on uh, finishing off the first map the town crier is whistling why is he whistling you're not paid to whistle you're paid to cry sir Crier, not the town whistler. You ever heard of a guy named Quinn? Young fellow, kind of shifty. Bit of a rascal. Never met him. And you never will. <laughs> he ratted out Two Blade Pete. They found half of him in the lake, and the other half in the fountain. Two Blade Pete killed the hero of Shaymore's friend. Those two are headed for a showdown. You and Petra should hide upstairs. Things might get rough, and I don't want to see you getting hurt. Two Blade Pete will be here soon. You ready? I'm ready. It's time to reach, teach him a permanent lesson. Sorry to hear about your friend Quinn. 
In honor of his memory, we'll put an end to Pete. He would have liked that. Quinn chose his path, but I'll miss him. Pete will pay. I'll see to that. That's what I like to hear. Bloodthirsty vengeance. Now let's use two-blade Pete's arrogance against him. He wants our heads for ruining his schemes at the well. I'm ready. What's the plan? Two-blade two Pete sending thugs to do his dirty work, but I know him. He'll be close by to watch his victory. Hold off the thugs long enough, and he'll have to come finish the job for himself. What about you? Don't worry. When Two-Blade Pete shows his ugly face, I'll ambush him. He won't stand a chance against our combined strength. I trust your judgment. Let's get started. For the record, um, no one should ever, ever trust Logan's judgment about anything. We can handle Pete. I know a char that makes him look like a cuddly stuffed toy. And an Asura whose tongue is so sharp it cuts glass. Right, Alice. What are you doing here? Don't you know Pete's on his way here to kill you? I'm counting on it. Always the brave one. Listen, I took your advice, and I'm getting out. Don't do something stupid like getting yourself killed before I have a chance to thank you properly. Don't worry. I'll deal with Pete. We'll see each other again after this is all over. I'm gonna hold you to that. She digs me. Understandable. I am... Um... Hunt stuff. All right, first batch of bandits coming in. Huh, you're kidding me, right? more batch and then we get Pete oh, Crusher Dan tried to decide decided to try his luck huh don't think that's gonna work out for you Dan uh, you can make bags with leather cloth or metalworking Uh, armor smithing, I think, has them. One of the metal crafting ones does. Basically, you're making metal boxes instead of bags. But leather can make them. Cloth can make them. You think you're smarter than Pete, do you? Think you hurt me? Let me tell you something. Better men than you have tried. Tried and failed. Look, kid, I'm not easily intimidated. Tried and died. Huh. Maybe I underestimated you. More than you know. Prison's full, Pete. But Time for an trial. extrajudicial murder. Straight to the execution. Trying to run away. Sorry about your two assistants there, Logan. They didn't seem to make it. And they're not resible. Oop. Too bad we couldn't have killed Logan. Very impressive, my friend. You've stopped Two Blade Pete and run his bandits out of Divinity's reach. Mm hmm. Thanks. I'm just glad that Pete is out of business permanently. I'm sorry about your friend, but your work here saved many lives. I'll see to it that the Queen hears of your valor. And Quinn's sacrifice. Bragging to the Queen? Yeah. I think Quinn would have liked that. I'll be in touch with you again soon. The Seraph can always use a friend they can trust. I'll be ready. Thanks, Captain. Boopy-doop, boopy-doop, boop. I'd say the streets just got a lot safer. And more hygienic. And key. There's the key, the objective of this exercise. Head armor I can't wear, but shoes that I can. 
Let's go with power and vit. They're ugly. They are fugly shoes, though. However, once again, our fashion has changed, so our colors Move must on. change. Move along. Wow, that's a little bit Las Vegas nights, but sure. We sell the stuff. Sell the junk. How do you do? Always a pleasure. Nah. We'll go to the bank and we'll pull out a black lion chest and we'll open it up. And then we'll spend the rest next half an hour or so running around the map. Working on map completion. Mm -hmm. I will represent the guild. We represent the Lollipop Guild. And we'd like to welcome you to Munchkin Land. All right. One. One. Current contents of which we will win some. We are guaranteed a black lion statuette and a mini blue skimmer pup. We will get two commons. Good ones, not likely to be the die kits anymore because I think I've got just about all of them. I mean, there are a couple I don't have, but the odds of getting them are pretty low. The unlocks are always good. The uncommons, the Steel Lotus set, is nice, but not spectacular. Uh, as an example, here's the shield. They have this sort of purplish, pinkish sheen, so and they have lotus blossoms that, that fall from them, or, or flow around them. And then one of my favorite sets in the rares, the Lore Keeper set. For instance, the Lore Keeper staff would be a very nice staff for this character. May the six watch over you. You can see it has basically a book up at the top that floats these little gold lights and these little banners with inscriptions on them, ribbons wrapping around. It's just a lovely set. It's one of my favorites. And then, of course, the uh, ultra rares. Ha ha ha. I will click on open. We'll get a common, a common, and what we're hoping for is a fifth box to appear, and that means we got well. an uncommon or better, about a one in ten shot. So probably not. Here we go. Nope, just common. Sweet, sweet loot. I have so much to do. And the Tyrian exchange vouchers are good, but very specific use. Gets put away. Upgrade extractor. Speak quickly. Black Lion Statuette. And the pup, I think, can go in here for now, too, if we've got enough space. Not by much, but yes, we do. All right, and now we're going to head out to the map and do a little bit more map completion, because I think this character might be a keeper. I think I'll be doing any future key farms on the alt account. And because we're going to be doing map completion, the sky scale is really the way to go. As it just makes everything easier. That looks like there ought to be a way through. Nope, there isn't. Okay. going to bonk into... Yep, invisible walls. I'm not a fan of invisible walls. Let me be clear about that. I didn't grab that while I was over here. Now I feel shame. I didn't grab the Vista. It's like I've forgotten how to do key farms. Oh, 
We've got an event. Need another guy here. Progress makes perfect. Another level, level 14. New headpiece, that's a new fashion, so yeah, and once again the colors will change. No, no, dies. No, just no. Okay. There is another vista. In the bandit hideout here. Which we'll grab next. Get over here and help me. Event up here too. You messed with the wrong bandit. Yeah, that one's aggroed on me. So I can't get to the uh, vista until they're dead. Now they're dead. The bandit lieutenant. Yeah, let's give him what for. I'm dying here. You'll be healing that one for days. I summon the power of the storm. This way. Back out into the light once more. Oh, somebody's downed. Can I help? I think I can. Nope, he's alive. I was coming to help. He didn't need my help. We've got another hero challenge over here. Another personal endurance running low. Got it off in time. I'm at nine life. Can I finish him off? I did. With nine life. Woo. Bracing. And level 15. Finished off a bunch of the things for... Ooh, 25 power. That's kind of a lot. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Give me a sec, too. Let's see. We hop off, we swap our weapon. That's a really, really good staff. And a five slot bag, which is. And a yet another level for depositing bank materials. We get access to another utility skill. I 
Max signet up and signet of air. No glyphs. Yep, glyph of lesser elementals is the way to go. Next. We got three points left. Got twenty one. Yeah, I think it's time to start saving up points to put into fire once fire becomes available at 21 as a, as a specialization. We got another hero point in here. It's veteran Ert and Ert and Bert. There is, you take some of the sludge, take a glob of the sludge, and you eat the sludge. That's good for a hero point. Ert and Bert. over here. And now we're just, all we're doing is basically working on map completion. is getting all of the hearts and vistas and points of interest and hero challenges on the map. And it gives you a shot at another key. I think that one's about a 30% chance for a key. Uh, since they changed uh, the leveling, I haven't done... Um, the heart in this map. But I also need to do a little harvesting for the um, new player advancement guide. Which is a good thing they added with the Steam patch, or just before. Speeds up in the leveling and also informs a new player about or worse? No a lot of the different game functions. Pick up a rifle and get in formation. Pick up a training sword if you want to train. What do you want anyone getting hurt? All right, we talked to you. Tell me more. Old. 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 Three holds. That's as many as you can get. Fire. Fire. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's keep at it. This is the most boring heart in the game, perhaps. Take aim. Bold. Mm hmm. Bold. Okay. Fire. Fire. Not bad. There are like three different Not activities you can do here, but this one's Let's actually the fastest. Take aim. Take aim. Hold. Hold. Fire. Hold. Yeah, I was hoping. Fire. <laughs> Not bad. Not Pardon bad me. at all. Let's keep at it. Game. Ha! Ah, I was aiming before he said it. Hold. Hold. Fire! Pick up a rifle and get in formation. Remember, don't release Not your bad. shot until the order is given. All. Let's keep at it. Hold. 
I mean, it's not a very a long heart. Some hearts are a lot more involved and time-consuming or really annoying. Oh. This one's just boring. It's not enough to hit the target. You must oh. learn to hold until commanded. Fire! Not bad. Not bad not at bad all. Bad at all. Let's, Let's keep, keep at, at it. it. Take aim. Hold. Hold. Fire. Not Three bad. more, maybe? Not bad lucky. at all. Let's keep at Show it. Show these whelps how it's done. Pick up a shield and get in there. Take aim. Good. Take aim. That's how you block an attack. Again. Hold. Mm -hmm. Fire. Just one. Hold. Don't, don't, three. Don't go with three holds. Hold. You bastard. You'll never Fire. block me like that. Try raising your shield just as I launch my attack. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's keep at it. Take aim. Way ahead of you. Training sword if you want to train. Wouldn't Fire. want anyone getting hurt. Not bad. Not bad at all. Keep at Let's it. Let's keep at it. Do we got a? All right, I'll take aim. Take aim. Hold. Pick up a rifle and get in formation. Remember, don't release your shot until the don't hurt complete. Given. Seven more hearts yeah, in the map. Not bad Way at all. Slow. Let's keep Try at attacking it. me as I lower my guard. I have discovered the Heartwoods. They're right above the Spleen Woods. This heart is one of the ones that can take a while. It's fast if the event is going, where the um, centaurs are attacking the fort there. Or even if they occupy it. Here we kill the centaurs and destroy their supplies. And if there are a bunch of people around doing this, then it really turns into a grind. too bad. Not a bunch of people around doing it. Running around, everyone trying to make sure they tag everything they can. He's going to make me earn it, isn't he? Copper, as there is another one of the adventurer's guide things, is for doing some crafty bits. Yeah, well, we 
we got uh, about, what, three quarters of it done, and now all of a sudden there's nothing left around here for us to murder. This is what makes this heart unnecessarily slow. They should increase the values that you get for um, dealing with the threats. Basically, it's you have to get 100 points to finish out a heart, and any given activity in the heart will get you some number of points. So, you know, killing a centaur might get four points. And destroying one of their... One of their pieces up here. I'll make sure that guy gets over here in time to tag them. One of the little supplies or something might only work two points and so on. Kills. I think I did a knockback. That's the last one I needed for that heart. Yay, 11 out of 17 completed for the map. And I'll leave those guys to it. Ah, and now this event has started. This event makes finishing up this heart easy. So I will leave it to them. Them is what may have needed of it. Whereas I do not. Let's see. Put that stuff away. And that's salvaging items. Another batch of XP for that. And we have another um, hero point in this direction. flew into something. Ah, uh, that's what is up here and we didn't get. The Windmill King. Just one more confirmation of how great I am. Point complete. I am indeed an evil magpie. He has com correctly assessed me. And time for another fashion change. We get new shoulders. Time for a new random die scheme. Here we go. Not nuts about the shoes, but the rest of it, it works pretty well. Where are we off to next? That one. Oh, we've got another waypoint over here. The, uh, the mill, the sawmill. We finished out the heart. We did not grab the waypoint because we are a dope. And we've got the um, hunting lodge up here where we're going to be killing some boars. Area for Gotta die. That little piggy went to bacon. Straight to bacon. Skipped all the other intermediate stages. Oh, the wasp queen is up, which accounts for why there's a dead character. The wasp queen is no goddamn joke. She's bad freaking news. <sighs> you know. I'm going to res them, but with the name Thick Nips, I kind of wish I didn't. But I will res them. It's 
It's not my fault. I didn't name him Thick Nips. Look, I understand. There are millions of characters in this game. Literally millions of characters in the game. And it can be tough to come up with a name. I understand. I sympathize. But I, I don't think that, that necessarily calls for naming your character Thick Nips. There are measures you could take to protest before naming your character Thick Nips. We do not want to mess with the veteran dire boar because the veteran dire boar is really a tough son of a bitch. Definitely an above average difficulty um, veteran mob. And you'll note he's following me. He is a lens-seeking missile wanting to destroy my equanimity and kill Killify me. As these three regular boars are probably going to succeed at killifying me, but we'll see. Time to do some real damage. Prepare correctly, and I can nuke them down pretty sufficiently. And these people are dancing. More power to them. If they're having fun, have at it. Uh, I'm going to guess they are Brazilian, as I don't think that's Spanish. I think that's Portuguese. Another heart complete. Guild Wars 2 does have a pretty good-sized uh, Brazilian player base. Oh, and this is the worst heart in the map, unless you're the only one around, and I might be the only one around. Oh, that wasn't within the area around to get the credit. So killing scales is, is fast, but doesn't give you much. The other thing you can do is um, <coughs> capture crabs, and the UI on that has never been very polished. I'll be generous. It actually sucks. And if there's anyone else around, it's just about impossible. That's another level for me, though. notice killing the scales isn't giving a whole boatload of XP. Or I um, should say a boatload of progress on the heart. I think the crab cages give more, but it's problematic. Alright, we're going into the water. Let me grab this copper first. So you aggro the crab. Pull them down to a crab cage, and you hit F. Okay, that worked much better than it usually does. Usually it's not that damn easy. As most of the time, they don't come, or they come and you press the button and nothing happens. Or like this one, it doesn't even notice. Oh, finally did. And there's no it's and the crab trap says there's no crab nearby. Until I hit it a second time, and then there is. It's just a really poorly implemented and not great idea. Alright, 
capture him, kill the armored fish. I feel good. Evidently, I feel good randomly. Another brackish scale. We get progress for killing the scale. But if there's a lot of people around, this one's just this. Him. Nothing here, and the second time yet. So it's it's not well implemented in the first place, but if there are a lot of players around, it's fucking terrible. And there's at least one other player. Around. I have 500 killing blows with the trident. Five hundred killing blows with the trident underwater weapon. And now the scales have respawned. Yeah, we can res this fisherman and that'll maybe have give us enough to finish this heart off, because this heart is just terrible. It's a bad one. It's one of the ones that could use some some tuning. Most of them are fine, there are just some that are awful. And this one is is bad. And if there's other people around, it becomes awful. There's a hero point over here we didn't do when we were in... Um, Beetlestone here, previously. And we'll do so now. Step right up, Carnival Goa! I'll be stepping right up. strength against mine and win a prize. You think I'm too old to kick your tail? Don't judge a threat by its snout. Beat me and take on the prize. I can't believe it. I believe it. I kicked your butt, dude. Talking crap to me. Oh, I have 11 points. Ah, oh, that's right. I'm saving them until I hit 21 in three levels, and we can start spending them on our first specialization. Fire is the obvious specialization for starters, unless you're playing in a group, as it's the uh, highest DPS of the elemental attunements. And because uh, I'm a very religious person, I will um, I will capture these lettuce because I'm making these lettuce my prey. That's right, lettuce prey. <laughs> There, I've gathered 25 materials. That's another one of the... new character adventure guide stuff. Let's see where we're at in that. into Volume 2 of the Adventure Guide now. We finished out Volume 1, evidently. Or at least got enough that we got credit for finishing off Volume 1. Yeah, uh, we can use emotes. Like that. That gave us more XP. And scouting the area is talking to three scouts. And I didn't talk to any of the scouts. And that will be the last of those. Oop. I helped out with an achievement. That's silver. I'm helping! But all of these uh, little lesser achieves are all worth XP, and that makes them all worth uh, doing if you're leveling up. Another heart. 
This is another one which can be really, really quick, or it can be tedious. There's a fight going on in here, and that makes it quick. didn't get that much out of it. Basically, you gotta kill. And if they're attacking the bases and you defend them, it goes by pretty quick. But I caught just the tail end of that, which means I'll now have to do it the manual way. Which means going into their little neck of the woods up here and kicking the crap out of them in their home base. Freeing the slaves. If it's good enough for Abraham Lincoln, it's good enough for me, damn it. See, signet of air gives me a stun. Let's improve the critical chance. We'll go with that. And somebody else is running around in here as well. Let the char do him do his do his murder fest, because that's like the charest thing ever. I'll free the human slaves. No surprise that a char wouldn't want to free any human slaves. some of their supplies because carpet bombing isn't an option otherwise we'd go with that another heart complete let's see I've got some bags of not so fat loot from the fat heads. <laughs> we got more hero points. We got plenty of those when we hit 21 in a little and a half, give or take. Let's make that our objective. What else have we got in the way of achievements here for. That's volume one. I still need to hit scouts. Volume two. One more level will get me some. Defeating enemies. I need six more enemies. That'll be fast. Gathering more crafting materials. That's a veteran basilisk, and he's uh, big and angry. for now. The base ones they give you. The crappy little base ones they give you. New event nearby? Well, I know we've got the hero challenge here. 
What was that? I don't know why I couldn't glide. Oh, I must have hit a you can't fly here zone. That's what happened. Right as I hit X to, to bail out, right before that, my uh, my pressing X kicked in, it kicked me off. I was wondering what the hell happened. I have figured it out. I am smarter than I look. I, I'd have to be, wouldn't I? There's 50 more enemies defeated. We've got another point of interest over here. Just cozy up to the door. Kill some more uh, the centaurs. You can also get it... Um, Get progress from talking with the Ettons. I'm bleeding. I dodged one out of three attacks. Time to do some real damage. Chatting with the Ettons. You have a one in three chance, I think, of them. I'm liking what you have to say. There's two out of three dodges. See, he liked what I had to say and ran off. Spiders don't count. You don't get any progress from beating up the spiders. Sad to say. One more. Wow. Man, was that three or four in a row? Who liked what I had to tell him? That's 15 out of 17 hearts. Lost Swamp. Ooh. The heart here is especially bad. It's dreadful. It's maybe the one that needs to have the values changed most for progress. Killing the Skelks gets you nothing, and doing the things you're supposed to do don't get you much either. There's a bunch of people running around. So I'm at zero. We finish off the portal to the underworld. That gets us a small amount. It spawns a mob. And boy, we got next to nothing for that. And unfortunately, most of the time there isn't even... Uh, portals around to do anything with. There are a lot of people here. It's possible that we're getting close to the um, the world boss spawn, given the number of people who are here. All right, you can also talk to a tortured spirit, and that will spawn a mob you can kill for some progress. It's just slow going.
Yeah, I'm thinking that sometime in the near future, the uh, maybe in 10 minutes, is the spawn time for the world boss. Maybe. Tortured spirit. Show me your tor show me what torments you. It's a shade. It was a shade. Time to do some real damage. It's especially bad if there are again people running. Because there are a limited number of these portals and a limited Spirits. Which means that unless you're working together and everyone's doing one whack, making sure that they get one whack on everything and no more, so that everyone gets whacks, so that everyone gets progress. But at least right now, it looks like it's just me. Even then, though, it's, it's not particularly fast going, let's put it that way. Whack. 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 Pardon me, I'm just whacking my wood. if someone's recently dealt with the mob. Because it's water combat. Water combat. That's all I have to say about that. It's water combat. Well, we have a shade. We'll deal with the shade. And then we'll deal with the portal. What we'll do is another shade. Or something similar. Something thereabouts. Something shade associated. An Ache. Which I've looked up found that my pronunciation of Ache was correct, which is actually the way I've been pronouncing it. Since before I looked it up, uh, it's a Central American, I think, um, critter. Level 20. And the veteran Marsh Drake is here. Two of those are not usable underwater. Just keep swimming, babe. Just keep swimming. Let me... Oh, you can't grab it until she's dead. Well, that fucking sucks. All right. North. No, we did not finish the did not finish the God Loth Swamp Heart. I just tried to convince myself that I had. It's really a bad one.
tortured spirit. Are they friendly spirits? That is an old... Oh, yeah, I had talked to him previously. I thought I had... Oh, we've got a... Time to do some real damage. shade. We'll get credit for that. Faster than usual, for sure, although still by no means fast. It's just, it, all of the progress values need to be tuned up on this part. And literally, they're just numerical values somewhere. small data structure, and they could be tuned in a couple of minutes, and it would make this one so much less unpleasant. Spirit feels like donating. Show me what torments you, spirit. There we go. Heart complete. We're 90% done on the map. Pretty good. This is another one. It's not terrible. For instance, you yoink the grub tails, kill the grubs, then run outside and find a couple of centaurs to kill, kill those and come back and yunk the grub tails again. But anytime you have to wait for a respawn, to do work, to make progress on a heart. Especially if you're not the only person around. It's a frustrating mechanic. Oh, I need to talk to three scouts. There's one of them. Shady customer, he whistles too. Hmm. I wonder what he has in common. With a town crier. Are they the same person? Inquiring minds want to know. Got another POI here. We are 95% done with the map. And the grubs have respawned. Grubs, grubs, grubs. I think they want our land and crops. 
not our beer. Just a thought. Good for me then. So, two times through the grub respawns. We are about two thirds of the way done. Now, if there are any centaurs up here, they count as well. The centaurs are around. Probably because that player got them. And that's what I was talking about with it being a pain in the ass. Now this player looks like he's running around getting the grubs, so... I make sure that he gets the first whack on them, and then... I get credit as well. now. Will it be enough? I don't know. Oops. I want to turn away so he can also get credit for whacking the, uh, the grubs. Okay, he's no longer following around behind me. One or two more. There should be enough grubs. Sorry, dude. This will be the last one I need, and I will take off without killing the last grub. So there's another grub waiting around for him. What do we got left? We've got all the hearts, all the hero points. We are missing a vista and a, I mean a, a waypoint and a POI. Point and a POI. Likely in there. Nope, we've got something missing there. There's a, a weird little um, dude with a, a, a Captain Morgan pose icon you can see there where I'm flying towards. And that shows that there's something in the area you have not uncovered. There is the last of the waypoints, which just leaves me with a POI. Hey, Kanekit. A tetrodotoxin. Evening, guys. Glad you could both make it. Not going to be here for too much longer. There might be one there. Is there something attacking me? No. Better late than never, as they say. I'm not sure who they are, but uh, the, they say it, evidently. From what I've been told, they say it. Maybe there, there, there. Should be due east. So I'll get finish off the map, which means we'll get one key and a shot at a second key. And I'll be able to spend my hero points. Believe it or not, there was a brief period in my life, three months of pure agony, when I ran cross country in high school. The madness passed, fortunately. A quiet night. I just uh, created a new character and um, did the key farm. And uh, I'm considering keeping this character alive. And so I decided I was going to run around for a bit. And I'm going longer than I expected. We have finished the map. Do I have to get another key? I got a second key. Truly, I lead a blessed existence. Nice. But I want to get to 21 so I can spend my hero points that I have been 
miserly collecting. I need to talk to two more scouts. That should give me the XP I need. I know there's one there. Of collecting what? Keys? Centaurs were right at this very spot. Uh, I can almost the smell them. Ugh, third one. Be barn animals. There's another key. They would have burned Shimor to the ground if we hadn't fought them off. Oh. Uh, sure, you could collect to then distribute it out. That would be non miserly. These are dangerous times. Oh. It's the game I've played most on stream. By a significant amount. The keys um, can be purchased, of course. They, um, they can be found randomly. However, I believe I have done so in 4,000 hours of gameplay. I believe I have gotten three keys as drops. I'm trying to remember where there's another um, scout. Um, certain acts, certain chapters of the personal story will always... Uh, give you a key. And map completion has about a one in three chance of giving you a key. I think that's all the ways. Where is there another damned scout? Where is there another scout? Why can I not remember where there's another scout? Perhaps it's because I'm going old and senile. There's one there, I think. Should finish off the last bit. Another there it is. Victory. That's level 21. That's what I was aiming for. Let's go back to town. So doing the map completion and completing the first chapter of the adventure guide. The first volume of the adventure guide gets me to level 21. Level 21 opens up your first specialization, and I will go with fire as it's the best for DPS, and most of what you're doing as you're leveling up is DPS. And I miserly saved up these points to spend them here. How's it going? And these are uh, adding skills. Utility skills, and they're also adding to the specialization. I can use my first specialization here, which is fire. What is it? You get these intermediate ones automatically. This one gives me more power. I then get to choose one of these three. Burning you inflict has increased duration, and critical hits gain a chance to inflict burning. Gain fire ore when an ally picks up a conjured weapon. I'm not using conjured weapons. Cure conditions and burn foes when you have a number of conditions on you. It automatically removes conditions and burns foes. And that's on a 40 second cooldown, but conditions will kill fast, so I'm gonna go with that, even though it's defensive. I gain a fire aura and damage nearby foes when I attune to fire. As an elementalist, I can change my attunement to any of the four elements. When I attune to fire, I'll burst into flame, setting them on fire, making them scream. Uh, sunspot inflicts burning. 
Smothering auras. Fire auras have increased duration. Applying auras to allies removes conditions and transmitting. Transmuting auras removes conditions from nearby allies. We'll go with the that one, I think. <coughs> so, in my general rule is to spend some points as you get them at lower levels to train some of your skills <coughs> and then save them up when you hit 21 to fulfill out whichever specialization line you choose and then go back to filling out the skills the second line your second specialization line will open at uh 45 i think 45 and then the last one it's 71 yeah 71 So I hit 21. We spent all our Seize hero points. Light. We have our specialization. We got our daily the daily point. gathering yield, which is an account thing. <laughs> mine. All mine. Uh, I got a, a new mask and new boots. <laughs> and since we have new clothing, that of course means that I have to change my Maybe default bot die scheme. And we do that randomly. Sure. Good enough. The colors here are Honey, Enameled Legacy, and Shadow Abyss. A nice little variety. We will sell... Feel the fury. Seize the moment. Our junk... And the chunks of pure jade. These are sellable on the auction house, but they will sell for less. So we'll just sell it. We're going to grab our last black lion chest we have. Just sitting around in the bank. And we're going to open it. I'll give you the same spiel. We managed to get a second key, which is nifty. How can I help? We're guaranteed a black lion statuette and a mini blue skimmer pup. Good ones. Used to be the dies. I have most of the dies on both my main and alt accounts. Good ones are the unlocks. Any of the uncommons would be cool. Uh, any of the rares would be really cool. Any of the super rares would be ludicrous, and that won't happen. We'll get a common here, a common here. What we're looking for is a fifth box to appear. That means we got an uncommon or better. That's about a 1 in 10 chance, so no. We got another transport to friend. We will put away the skimmer pup and get some more XP. The black lion uh, statuettes you get from every lockbox are the consolation prize, but they can be used to buy the stuff that was previously in the boxes. I'm going to wait for these to come down in price. There are a couple of cool ones here, like the Infernal Flail, which I could spend 60 rich, you know. of the um, Black Lion statuettes on. But if I wait, like, three months, it'll be down in price to 45 45 is a more reasonable price for the things I don't have a real, real need for. And then the older ones even go down to 25 to 30 And there are a lot of really good skins available here, including, most famously, first time I saw this sword, I said... That is a big motherfucking sword. And so it has become known as the motherfucking sword. It's only a little bit over the top. Really, it's I'm not sedate. sure about this. But for now, Always a pleasure to meet you. we put that away and the die kit. We have all the commons and uncommons because we have all the uncommons and commons in the game. The rares, we're down to just a few that we don't have. We but we have all of these. That precious. leaves the exclusives. We have all of these exclusives. There is no day I can get at this that I do not already have on my main account here. It's a common. Honey butter. Pretty sure I've got that on the alt account as well, but... We'll send it off to me anyway. If I have it on the alt account already, and I almost certainly do, it will go into the guild bank where any of my guildies can take it. 
and I'm going to call it an evening. I want to thank you guys for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I should be back tomorrow at the usual time, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. And I'm going to say I'm probably going to keep playing this character. I think I will level up a new character all the way. And I went with the uh, what is generally seen as the uh, glassiest of cannons in the game. It's a soldier flight for me. The Elementalist. I have not died yet. That's going to change. Um, so I think I'll just do that for the next n many days. I'll just keep leveling up a new character, this character. And I'll be doing any future key farms only on the alt account, I think, is the way I'm going to approach that. So I would like to thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. As always, I am very appreciative Responsibility of you guys isn't easy. hanging out. I hope you had some fun. A little. Some diversion. Diverting. Um, I hope the rest of your Monday night goes great. I hope the rest of your week, trying to set a approachable goal, I hope the rest of your week doesn't suck. I'll be back again tomorrow. Have a great night tonight. Take care. And ciao for now. Good night, guys.